Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Valley. In the last episode, the first episode, we kicked off our journey, got our leaf suit, and we're running around in the Canadian Rockies, following the journals of somebody who was working close to the U.S. military in 1941, and trying to find something called the Life Seed, which has the power to destroy life as we know it, so why would we want it, but we do, so... Humans always do that. We want to know the power, we want to have it to study it, and then somebody takes it, and then you have a supervillain. But, this is episode two of, Val two of Valley. Go ahead and check out the links in the description to the previews of the websites you are looking at right now. How beautiful, how nice, how polished. Check them out, guys. All those links will be in the description down below. This is the same session as the first episode. I decided to record a couple of them tonight, um, so I have better control on not falling behind because I am doing twitch streaming now um, and that takes up a good amount of time obviously because I start at three I end usually there on eight or nine so for about five or six hours I can't do YouTube stuff so I'm trying to stockpile a lot more lately um, and it's going pretty well I have all the videos ready for this week which I'm thankful for but continuing on from where we left off we came to a place called Sussuris Valley I believe and we're just walking around gathering acorns and medallions and really just having a good time. Isn't that what life's about in the end? We also figured out that we have the power to take life away from living things and also give it back to things that were dead or we killed and didn't want them to be dead anymore. So in a sense, we are God and we would have absolutely been a horrific thing to be on the battlefield, but we're gonna get right back into this. Hopefully those websites are done now. I didn't even check, but we're gonna walk around and see if we can find out about these yellow guys because it never talked about them in the last one. Well, it was like, they're so nice. Whoa. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. No, no. Okay, so I can kill them and make them into horrific things. Think I better leave them alone. They didn't look too happy about having the life sucked out of them, so... Think I won't be doing that. For fear that those things will come out of my computer and kill me in my sleep. Alright. Oh my lord. Maybe we shouldn't go on that. Or we will! Hey! Ah! No! How dead am I? Valley health. The leaf suit's quantum death functionality allows the user to return to life after dying. Okay, well, the valley health though. Can we talk about that? Like, the entire valley's health just went down because I died? What does that mean? But life must be traded for life. The more you die, the more the valley will die around you until it is fully deadened. Without enough life in the valley, you cannot be revived. Oh, shit. Revitalize the valley. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, and an acorn fell down. Oh, okay. Okay, so we can fix this. All right, awesome. Thank goodness. Okay. So it's kind of like if you don't watch it, you have a chance of not being able to continue. Do these always drop acorns? Or is it only when I revitalize? Wait. Okay, so when I'm giving the valley life again, I get acorns from the trees. Okay. Alright, good to know. Oh, and the vines. Wowee. Alright. Excavation site. Yes. They have all been excavation sites. I didn't mean to hit that button. Oh. Hello, giant tree. Once every thousand years, the Titan 
poetry will produce the mythological and famed life seed. Oh. It's said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. Yes, we've been over this. No wonder the military is so interested in this place. So that tree produces a life seed, apparently. Oh, there are obelisks out there, huh? Okay. Follow the Titan tree's roots to activate all of the obelisks. Okay. Alright, so I just gotta go to the obelisks and touch them. Oh, note from Virginia King. Sacred trees are common in mythologies around the world, typically acting as symbols of growth, decay, and resurrection. Some act as concepts, such as the world tree, uh... This was in fucking World of Warcraft, I never knew how to say it. Uh, Yggdrasil. Pour one out. Of Norse mythology, which provided a map for the composition of the universe, acting as a link between heaven, earth, and the underworld. But more recently, in Christian belief, the tree of life represents the immaculate state of humanity before its exposure to original sin causing its fall. Okay. Touches on the theme of trees and religion. Alright, so I guess we're gonna follow these roots. Follow these roots. Eh. Whoa, these roots are nuts. Look at these roots. Dude. These roots are insane. I can run on them. Woo! I didn't jump, but woo! Okay, so I want to go to that obelisk. And check it out. Anything else cool? It's a tree in the middle of the lake. Huh. Huh. Yeah, buddy. Sounds like something's running behind me. Thank you for my medallion. Huh. A lot of hardcore parkour that I'm not good at. Yup. Uh. Yep. I'm over here. Um... Okay, so does it want me to get up on this ledge? Oh! Alright. To the glowing orbs I go. Yeah! Boom! Oh. Ow, my legs. There you go. Fixed your tree. Okay. Why did I go this way? I just got distracted. My bad. No more messing around. To that. To that we go. Nah. Uh. Nah. The origin of this valley yeah. Oh. Continues to elude me. Okay. They seem to have coexisted with the mysterious forest sprites. I find loose hints of Mesoamerican civilization, such as the Olmec, with their renowned colossal headstone sculptures dating back to 900 BC. Strangely, though, the Olmec civilization was much younger and located no less than 5,000 kilometers away from here. Hmm. Hmm. How'd their stuff end up here? Energy upgrade. Oh! Whoa, the tree got huge! What in the hell? Ooh! That's real neat. Okay, maybe I shouldn't run on this thing. Oh, maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Up. Mm. Mm. Huh. Oh, man. That's not good. Okay. I am a little bit garbage at this. Okay. Oh, well, it, 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 it launched me. Woo. Yikes. Okay, no, we're okay. No, I'm fine. I can control this. You guys are putting your faith in the right person. Let's go this way. Oh. Oh, no. Catch me. Oof. Broke both of my legs. What happens if I give a forest sprite more life? Nothing. Okay. Well, now we know. Oh, man. Alright. Okay. We're going down. Oh, a note. Caution, monument wall unstable, blunt force may cause collapse. This? Oh, snap. You want to see some blunt force? I will show you blunt force. 
get ready to accept the full blunt force of my really dense skull. Hatya! Well, that rubble cleared up instantly. Self-clearing rubble. We had a lot of inventions that'd be handy now. Uh huh. From the apocalypse to Ragnarok. However, it's unusual for the event to surround a particular object, especially one acquired by mortals. Okay, but why do us mortals want that power? Why do you need to have that kind of power? It's it's it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm confused. Ah. Power upgrade. Give life to the seed and tree. Ooh, that bad boy is growing. All right. <gasps> Look, more little sprites are showing up. Aw, cuties. Ow. My legs. My tibias and my fibias. I think those are in the legs. Yeah! By giving life to trees, there's a chance one or more golden acorns will drop. I'm gonna hit the wall. Oh. So you mean that... Any tree at any point can give me an acorn. I've been wasting my time. I could have been gathering acorns. Damn it. I was a fool. What's good? Take my acorns. Wow. Is this the apocalypse? You need some life, friend? I have life. The playful little sprites of this valley, which I've come to call Damon, are so lively. Damons. I've done my best to study their behaviors, but without zoologists on site, I'm mostly coming up dry. They're completely harmless, so the army tends to ignore them as they go about their research. I wonder if the world would clamor to have these daemons as pets. Yeah. I'm sure my mother could use one. Better than all those feral cats in her backyard anyways. Okay. I guess. Why am I doing this? Must I bring life to these vines? Absolutely, humanity would want those things as pets. Absolutely. A creature that no one's ever seen before? That turns into a demon occasionally? Hell yeah. Hello, mushrooms. A uh, note from Virginia King. My mother would tell me stories of daemons as ghostly and benevolent nature spirits. That name se seems fitting. It will have to do for now until a zoologist can classify the forest sprites more appropriately. Okay. Why don't you call them something unique? Like chunk. Or... Turtle. Hello! Oh, there we go. Wow. Yes, please, I will return to explore the titan tree. That thing's fucking... That's massive! A tree unlike any other tree. Falling. Legs. Broken. Wow. Can I climb it? No trees that big. Not here. Don't think so. Be really neat, but I don't think so. The closest thing I can think of are California redwoods, and they're not that big. They're huge. They're not, like, world-shatteringly big, though. Acorns. Hello! Oh! I don't climb up it, I go inside. Alright. Oh god, oh god, oh lord. Oh! How did this civilization take hold so far north? The Ow. What? The population that lived here was clearly sedentary in nature. Sedimentary. This leads me to believe this place was used as a sacred ground. Are these monuments to the mythical cannibal giants of native lore? The Saiteka? I hope they're not. I hope there aren't any mythical cannibal giants. That would not be fun for me. I I I believe that mythical cannibal giants would be a bad thing for me. Ugh. 
Ugh. But there has been a lot of goat head situation, which generally means Satan is about. Eh. Hello? Oh, note from a Pathfinder. Just my luck. First day on a training run, and what do I run into? One of those Amarita swarms they kept on warning us about in the briefing. That darn thing nearly killed me. Thank goodness I had enough energy to pacify the swarm. What on earth made them so damn aggressive? A swarm, huh? Leaf suit upgrade. Get to higher and further areas by double jumping with the Icarus boost upgrade. Each boost costs one unit of energy. Okay. Hi. Yes. Okay, I will. What year am I in? What year am I in, and what year are these people in? Oh, no, from Virginia King. While pyramids are common throughout Mesoamerica, I still couldn't believe my eyes seeing one such structure here in the valley. Thankfully, the military had the decency to build one of their grotesque facilities a few hundred meters away. Apparently, the Pathfinders are seeking a way to get in by gathering artifacts. Wonder if being a Pathfinder was like good pay. Benefits, you know, schooling, health insurance. Maybe a gas card or something. Huh! Ooh! Putting a lot of faith in a double jump. I will ignore that pianist. Well, atop that elevator shaft outside. They had one? Uh, life seed cradle, organic structure housing embryonic plant. They had a life seed here and they took it? Ah, oh, but that's why I'm here. Alright. Nuts and bolts, dude. Well, I better ski daddle. Do I know the way? Up. Up. Okay, I'm up. This way? Huh. Yut. My newfound double jump ability. I can get anywhere with ease. Hello. Anybody in here need some life? Or maybe a, a shoulder to cry on? Hold shift and run down the slope for maximum momentum. Okay. Wow. Shit. Oh my god! Mountain! Ah! Maybe I had a little bit too much momentum? Is that what's going on? Because I just flew over everything and then smacked into the mountain. Whoa, what is that? Okay. Be aware of Amarita swarms. They can be pacified with life energy. Damage from their attacks affects your energy count. Damage at zero energy results in death. Hey! Hey! Pass through the storm. Oh my god. How do you- I gotta pacify it. Pacify. 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 Boom. Boom. How's that feel? Oh shit. I'm gonna die. Sprint. 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 Get energy. Get energy. Alright. Run again. Sprint. 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 Meow. <gasps> Could it be? Stay there, Swarm. I'm reading- I'm reading a note in acorns. Amarita swarms indigenous to the valley are incredibly aggressive. It's advisable to maintain a considerable distance between oneself and the swarm, otherwise it will send a wave of attack drones towards the victim. Like a bee's defense, the swarms will suicide themselves to protect the rest of the cluster. Are we good now? Are we chill, bro? Huh. Huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're chill. We hang out on the weekends, me and that swarm. We've always been chill. We're best friends. He likes to golf, I do not, so we don't 
We don't golf together, but all right. Good to know about the magical bees. Hello. Nice. All right, so I need to get up to an elevator. If there's one thing I could do without in this valley, it's those damn Amrita swarms that seem uh -huh. to affect this place. They aren't so bad when they're calm, but when they're starved of Amrita energy, they become incredibly aggressive. Okay. Sending waves of drones toward intruders and suicidal attacks. They seem to be becoming angrier the longer we're here. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't be here. You ever think about how maybe they're connected and they have a reason for not liking us? Man, I hardly like us, so. Can't say I don't understand. Ah, shit. Oof. Hello. What do we have here? Energy upgrade. The energy canister increases your suit's energy capacity by four units. What? Oh. Free upgrade. Sweet. Okie dokie out of chokies. Memo, in case of power shortage, please use Amrita generators. Should we be using the natural resource? Okay. Generators used by the army. I didn't get to read that. I clicked away. So I'm just gonna hit it. The fuck you talking about? Oh, I see. Okay, we went up the elevator. To the facility where they had the life seat, I think? Maybe, possibly, probably? When a Pathfinder dies while wearing a leaf suit, they are revived at the cost of their nearby living- of other nearby living things. This exciting yet dangerous functionality is known as quantum immortality. That is interesting. It's- it's far-fetched, but it's- it's an interesting- it's interesting they even went there, but okay. Get to the Soma facility atop the mountain. Thought I was doing that. Ah! Well, I'm gonna get off this. Titan Rock. You know about the life seed? I don't know. Is anybody here alive? I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't tell you, bud. Okay, that's water. Oh, I'm loving this suit. Whoa! Another energy thing, right? Yeah. No, from Private Sparks. McDavid's been riding me again. It's like a guy can't take a nap any anymore these days. Sure, I was on guard duty at the time, but what am I guarding against? There's nothing out here. Yesterday I saw a rabbit run by. It was the highlight of my day. <laughs> well, what happened? Where is everybody now? Was it giant cannibal giants? Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. Uh, I'd like the episodes to be shorter in the future, but I get so distracted uh, by all the pretty things that I kind of forget and let them run on. But so far, this is still interesting. I'm wondering where we're getting to. We have an enemy, we have a goal, we have audio, we have a lot of things to go off of, but I'm not entirely gripped yet, and I'm not sure why. Um, not entirely yet. We'll see, though. We'll see. There's still plenty of time. So I'll see you guys in the next episode uh, on Monday, and that is the end of this episode for me. If you like this video, why not leave me a like or a comment down below the video, and if you liked me, why not subscribe today for some more content in the future? Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Please check out the links that I showed you a little preview to at the beginning of this video. Those are the devs website, the Steam Store page, and Valley's main website where you can learn more about the game. 
Always check them out if you guys can. It's the one thing that I ask. Uh, support devs because without them we wouldn't have games. So, thank you guys so much for watching. That's all for me for today. And have a fantastic day. And don't out there wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen. And please stay safe. Much love to your faces. I will see you guys in the next one.